why is Cam Newton not on a fucking football team yet? Allow me to tell you, it's not a matter of talent. It's not a matter of skill or lack of QB positions open. It's a matter of attitude and behavior. Attitude and behavior it goes a little something like this. We was, I was Superman, bro. 15 and one. Ain't nobody was stopping us, bro. All of a sudden, Super Bowl here, that boy Von Miller said, boom. All up in my face and shit. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm trying to get a chip, bro. All up in my shit. He said, let me tell you one more time. He said, boom. I was like, yo. I was looking at the ceiling lights all night. I had my gold cleats on and shit. Cam Newton. Where do I think he's going to go? Not too many positions open, but let's talk about that. WWE and AEW, are they going to start beginning to let fans in the arena at a small capacity? Stay right here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel. First thing first, I want to apologize for the glare that is in my eyes from the sun. I probably should go to my location to take my video and do it at a later time, but this is the situation right now. I want to highly urge everybody, whether you're seeing this through an ad, friends, or whatever, to subscribe and hit the like button. The like button pushes it out as popular content, and that does so to a different and a new audience. And by subscribing, it gives you a chance to see all of the crazy things that I have done on this channel from sports intros to wrestling intros. I try to generally have a, a nice intro and a catchy intro for every one of my videos. Um, some videos I don't because the topic based on what I'm talking about, like whether it's death or anything, doesn't is, is not appropriate. Uh, but I do wanna urge everybody to subscribe to the channel because that is the way on how it is going to get out there. And the more and more I build this audience, uh, the crazier it's gonna get, the better quality it's gonna get. And again, it, it's all a learning experience. So uh, that's, that's that and from this standpoint forward. But two topics to talk about today. Um, the first one, I'm actually going to talk about the WWE one first. WWE and AEW have stated, well, they haven't stated, but Florida has stated. Now, for all of you watching that are wrestling fans, you know that uh, WWE has been under this whole quarantine thing. And it's been an awful situation for pretty much every professional sport. Uh, most professional sports are not taking place. Uh, but from WWE... Their standpoint is even worse because uh, they are hurting a lot. Um, I don't know how AEW is hurting. And again, I'm not trying to put it as Vince McMahon is not a rich man because he's a very rich man. Uh, but Tony Khan clearly, you know, uh, being the, the runner of AEW has much, much more money than Vince. Uh, again, they're both very, very rich. Uh, but I don't feel like I feel like AEW has missed their fans because the AEW fans make something very special about their show. And that is just kind of what I think about that. Now, with the uh, WWE situation, the Florida governor has actually, and I got this right here, the Florida governor has hinted that WWE may be able to have, be able to have a limited number of fans for Florida TV tapings beginning in June or July. Now, Florida, uh, from what I'm told, the governor yesterday had... had uh, begun to open up the 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 state uh, more things are open um and and that is something that florida has begun to do so they've started to open the state um but one of the things that they mentioned here is that with um them potentially having fans in the future uh, perhaps next month they mentioned strongly that it can only be done at 25 percent capacity and that is absolutely right there are some states that are not being hit with the coronavirus as, as much as other states. I unfortunately live in one of two states that is getting annihilated by the coronavirus, and that is New Jersey. New Jersey and New York are going to be probably the last states to be opened in terms of professional sports and entertainment businesses, okay? I don't think that we're going to see any type of entertainment outside of any type of sport in New York and New Jersey for quite a while. And that's the way it should be because again, People that live in New York, New York speaks for itself, media capital of the world. And then the people that live in New Jersey, a lot of them commute to New York. And again, it just, that's how it spreads very quickly. It comes from New York, New Jersey. And New Jersey is also a gateway to New York. And a lot of people do live in New Jersey as well. So before that goes, I wanted to state that this is going to be selective inside of the Performance Center. Um, the governor stated that if the positive trend continues, we could see it as early as the beginning of June or July beginning of June or July, we could start to see some fans inside the Performance Center. Now, I think that I want to make this very clear for some of the people there, or for some of the people. 
I don't think it's their way of selling tickets because WWE has a, a, a select group of fans that have been riding with the company for a very, very long time. And I believe they have some kind of connection and they have more, it's more than free tickets. They're literally, it's, 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 they work for the business. Um, again, we know who these people are, we always see them in the front row and I feel like they're going to be some of the first people to have in on this because they're close with the company. I feel like they should do, AEW has, has listened to their fans and they've done it kind of the right way because what they've done is they take a section of the roster or indie guys or whoever that are are there and they have them in the audience now again it's only 10 to 15 wrestlers but it's a much better than just hearing the sound of the mat and the wrestlers call out the next move that is de a detriment and that's one of the problems with wwe is that they don't tend to listen to their audience and they do not tend to listen to any type of feedback they do not welcome any type of constructive criticism from any of their fans AEW, from what i know i haven't heard too much negative about it in terms of the interaction with the community because the community loves AEW. it's not perfect there's a lot they got to work on they have to work on their production standpoint a lot and i think that that's what a lot of people don't like AEW for is because their production standpoint is not what it is and a lot of them just think that it's just acrobatics and whatever but that's not relevant to that regardless florida began to open up yesterday 25 percent capacity so i think that's the right way you have to do it and they said that these people that are going to be in this have to adhere to these social distancing guidelines and that's another thing you know you have these people in here but they're gonna be all hugging up on each other and all up on each other again you want to give it a shot you want to go for it go ahead and do it i think that by putting these people in um the arenas at the level that they are i think that that would be the smart thing to do to do 25 percent capacity okay you don't want to fill an arena you're not just going to go bat crap into it and say okay listen we're here in New York City. Uh, let's go, Madison Square Garden. Are you ready? That's not the way to do it. And we know that's not the way to do it. Okay? They have to be very smart with this. They have to be very careful. Do I think that that's possible? I do th honestly see them starting to welcome that. And I do see them starting to begin the process of letting fans back in in early June. I think May, personally, is out of the equation. I don't really think there's going to be too many things in May. There are some things that are starting to open up early now. But not too much. I think, you know, we knew April was shot. I think May is pretty much shot. June is the question mark. I don't think all of May is shot, but I think for the next three weeks, it's a, you know, life's going to remain the way it is. June is the question mark for me. Okay. WWE has to be smart with this. I wouldn't be surprised to see them do, again, like I said, the people that are, are, are the, the company. I don't want to say company, company puppets. But the people that are, are fans that have been established for 15, 20 plus years with the company that have the 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 uh, seniority over other fans. I don't know if they're going to be doing ticket sales. I can tell you personally from all the things that we know, WWE desperately, desperately wants their fans and their revenue back. If there's anybody that's hurting from the virus, it's WWE because they're even even the rumors of them selling the company. I don't I don't see I don't see WWE selling the company whatsoever. Um you know, I, I definitely see them selling their network rights. I'm telling you right now, paid pay-per-views are coming back, ladies and gentlemen. So let's let's get that straight right now. Paid pay-per-views are coming back, and you're going to be shelling out money. The network's still going to exist, but, you know, I, I definitely see that happening. Especially with ESPN, too, as well. I think ESPN, and, and then they're going to do that as well. They're going to start welcoming fans back, potentially. We're going to see what happens. That means that it's going to be interesting to see what the next June pay-per-view, I think it's Extreme Rules, is. And how they're going to go about that. That's WWE standpoint. The next topic. I gave up on two of two. Cam Newton. Where is Cam Newton going to go? Nobody knows where Cam Newton's going to go. Cam Newton has been waiting in the shadows for a spot on a team as the quarterback. He has specifically stated that he does not want to be a backup quarterback. And I don't blame him because I think Cam Newton's a lot better than a backup quarterback. I think that. He has a lot more potential than people give credit to. But I think one of his detriments is the fact that he has a very, very difficult attitude to deal with. Again, that's not from any type of working experience with him. That is just from what is portrayed. You know, he was on top of the world. They got pretty much annihilated in the Super Bowl. And he went about it a very negative way. He's very, I feel like he's very arrogant sometimes. Again, and that's just 
a lot of teams see that. Now, there really, for me, is only two possible destinations that Cam Newton could go. The first and the most obvious one is New England. Now, the problem with New England is not Cam Newton. Can he play in New England? I think he can play in New England. The problem is, can he win in New England? And the problem is, is he going to behave himself because he, he has to realize that he's not going to maybe have the freedom. He'll still have the freedom, but I don't know if Bill Belichick is going to put up with his antics. You know, you had Brady, you had that whole system there. I don't think necessarily that New England wants to go from Tom Brady to Cam Newton. You know what I mean? And again, I, that's not saying Tom, Cam Newton's not a good quarterback. He is a good quarterback. But I don't think that they want to go from this guy who was so fit into the system, so quiet, to this guy who's going to make all this noise. I don't, I don't, for some reason, I just, I don't think Cam Newton fits the New England persona. I think he fits the team, but I don't think he fits the team's direction. And that's part of the problem because I feel like New England would have picked Cam Newton up a lot sooner. And so would have some of these other teams. Cam Newton has not been picked up. He also has injury history. You can't forget that. But it's, I think it's more not even so much his injury history. I think it's just his attitude. Again, that's the same problem with Antonio Brown. He was literally, Antonio Brown's much worse than Cam Newton. But Antonio Brown's problem was literally the same exact thing. He, but I think his is much deeper and his is much is a, much further beyond the football field. Antonio Brown did not get picked up for the longest time because teams saw that and they don't want that influence. These New England, this New England team needs a solid quarterback and now they're in a position to where there aren't really any available and they can't get the guy they want. I said, and there's still, the, the option is still there. I said, Jacoby Brissett is waiting in the shadows as a backup on the Colts. He already knows your system. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Jacoby Brissett should be the guy that New England goes after, okay? He's waiting. He is waiting in the shadows, okay? And he's a good quarterback. I think Jacoby Brissett should be the guy that New England goes after. Somebody also mentioned Josh Rosen. He might fit the Patriots better. Um, I'm not really a big Josh Rosen fan. You know, I mean, I can't blame him too much for Miami because that whole team was just a disaster. But I think personally, New England should go after Brissett. I think that would be their best fit. The other option for Cam Newton, and some people may frown upon this, is the Jaguars. Let me tell you why the Jaguars. The Jaguars have some offensive playmakers, and we know how a quarterback who loves to throw the ball 67 yards every single play could benefit from that. But not only that, the Jaguars have a quarterback now that I don't think is as good as people portray him to be. I do not at all think Gardner Minshew is a long-term answer at quarterback for the Jaguars. I honestly think the weather is attractive, and I think the Jaguars should be an attractive place. There's also a lot of personalities on the Jaguars. Um, and I think that Cam Newton would fit the Jaguars well. Because to be honest with you, if there was a competition in camp between Minshew and Cam Newton, I don't think Minshew would stand a chance. I honestly don't think he's that great. I don't think he's terrible, but I don't think he's that great. I really don't. I think he's a little bit overrated. He had a couple of good games. And, you know, we've seen him also get annihilated by teams that are much better than he is. I don't think Gardner Minshew is that great. I really don't. I don't think he's terrible, but I think Cam Newton would be a much better option. Anybody that would sit here and tell me they would start Minshew over Cam Newton, even if Cam Newton hasn't played in, in a long time, needs to, to find other hobbies because they don't know what they're talking about, okay? You can tell me Minshew had this game, he had that game. I, To be honest with you, I felt like I seen quite a lot of awful from Gardner Minshew, okay? Chargers are not an option. They drafted a quarterback. Any of these teams that drafted a quarterback this year, I don't think are interested in someone, especially someone particularly of Cam Newton. I don't see that because they want to build these guys. The Dolphins is, is well out of the equation, should be well out of the equation for Cam Newton. The Dolphins are head over heels for Tua, and I think that he's going to be a great quarterback for them. Okay, The Eagles are out of the equation. Any team in the NFC East is out of the equation. Somebody said the Redskins, but I think the Redskins like Dwayne Haskins. Now, that's a possibility. You could see Cam Newton on the Redskins, but are you really going to have Dwayne Haskins sit again? You had him sit his, his rookie season for how long, and now you're going to have him sit again? No, I think they're over that hump. I think for, for me, the best possible situation is the Jaguars, and a lot of people are going to say no, but the Jaguars, I think, is the best suitable position for Cam Newton. 
The Patriots are another one. But again, it's 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 Bill Belichick. Is he gonna put up? Is Cam Newton gonna behave himself? You know what I mean? So it's to me, it's New England or Jacksonville. I don't really see it. Uh, Chicago, you know, they already have too many quarterbacks. Denver, somebody mentioned Denver. I don't know where you get that from. Because the Broncos love Drew Locke. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know where they get the Denver Broncos from. Um, I can't really think of too many teams. I really can't. Uh, but that's just my opinion, ladies and gentlemen. Where's Cam Newton going? I say the Jaguars, maybe. And I also say that WWE and AEW should invite fans in maybe in June, but they should do it very easily. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for always just watching. Subscribe, like the channel, and share it with everybody.